Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Light. How the devil are you, mate? How the devil are you? Diddly do. Huh? Anyway, we're watching Frostmare TV today, buddy. All right? Make sure you go over to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. And this one is called Scary Videos That Will um, Cause Amnesia. Hey? That's what we all want, isn't it? A bloody amnesia, mate. Yeah. Yeah, let's... Uh, oh, no, not amnesia. Insomnia. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just... Amnesia. Just watch the whole bloody thing and just go, what the fuck did I just watch? Scary videos that will cause insomnia. Right, okay. Anyway. Oh, by the way, I've got a P.O. box. Okay, I did tweet it out and um, put it on my Facebook and that. But yes, I've got a P.O. box now. So if you wanted to send me anything, because I know that a couple of you have, uh, you know, you've messaged me and said, like, I'd love to send you something, you know, if you want to do that. Uh, I've, I've got now the P.O. box in the description so you can have a little look. All right, anyway. Without further ado, da diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. The next video was sent by. Oh, you Brian. can't see it. You can't see it. Shush. Hang on. You can't see it. <laughs> I've got game capture on. Not bloody. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do that again. Shh. The next video was sent by Brian. It was captured Cheers, on a Brian. security camera that was overseeing a stretch of road in Bolivia. And for some reason, it had captured the attention of one of the security guards that was on his shift one night this August. There seemed to be a person walking at night, but something wasn't right. What could he mean by that? Let's see. What could he mean by that? What? <laughs> What's going on? Is just some dude walking? Oh god, it's walking really weird though. Can you can you keep the bloody camera still, please, mate? Mate, that's fucking hovering, right? It's hovering it's, and it's doing this, it's going. Oh, fucking jerky motion, man. Look at it. Look at the way it you're tells walking. Us that this is a really weird capture since people are normally not out on the streets that late during lockdown. Mate, and why are you walking like that? He's either pissed or a bloody spirit, mate. Besides the pissed spirit. This being wearing a black jacket. It also seems to be suddenly stopping in its tracks, then standing there for a brief moment oh, before proceeding to walk. It also looks like it's morphing between shapes. Which oh, fuck it, that is so disturbing. Stopping instantly. It's like, it reminds me of the grudge. It looks quite unreal. Yeah. What's your explanation for this? Fuck knows, Just mate. Just a camera glitch. Or did he capture something else here? I couldn't say. Look, perfectly still, then just bang. And then look, ready? Ready? Stop! 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 That! What? What's that all about? Look at you. The next video was sent by Tony, and he tells us that he found this in the ghost sightings thread on Reddit. The uploader states that user Princess Lena87 had a fun evening with one of her good friends. They were simply creating a quick video for their Instagram story and possibly TikTok. Not to mention, there was no other person at the apartment. Yet, shortly before the recording ended, there seemed to be an eerie and not further identified object popping up behind the head of her friend. Oh man, it always happens, doesn't it? There's always some sort of figure or face behind them, isn't it? It just pops up and just goes, hello, fuck off, hey! That couldn't be seen just seconds earlier. And people in the ghost section speculate that it might have been an evil spirit or demon that was closing in on them. Let's take a look. Could be in the mirror. How? Oh! Mate! 
Oh my fucking god, what is that? What is that? Mate, that's fucking- That's Deadpool. That's Deadpool without his bloody mask. Look at the state of your face, mate! I mean, I get why people suspect something otherworldly is going on here. The lighting situation is not the best by far, but it looks like the face is covered in darkness, and the head appears within a few frames. Unfortunately, the recording wasn't any longer to better analyze it. It's pretty freaky though, it's especially freaky. if the two girls were alone in the apartment. Don't you think? Just imagine, just for a second, doing a TikTok video, yeah, or an Instagram video. And you play it back, you go into edit, you put the filters on whatever you want, right? And you see that fucking thing behind you. You see that thing behind you. What would you do? What would you do? Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. That's what I would do, mate. And then I'd just Rambo it. And then I'd just reflect and go, actually, no, let's just bloody Rambo it, mate. This video was sent by Andrew J. And he found it in a profile called Real Ghost Hunters. It is said that the man in the following recording documented a nightly witch hunt. Witch and hunt! Apparently, there have been several <laughs> sightings in the local area in which he's living in. Not much is said about the recording in particular, other that people were quite freaked out after watching the material. Hmm. Hmm. What are you doing? What are you waving about? What? Was there two things? It's pretty hard to point out at what we are exactly looking at here. Is it a witch? Maybe just a person in a costume? Or a homeless person? Could all be the case. Baka! Ba Baka! Oh, mate, that sketch is hell, man. There was nothing on the other point, though. On the, on the first part, there was, like, the arrow, and then he was, like, waving. And then there was another arrow, the red, saying, like, uh, over here as well. I couldn't see shit. Oh, Are you up, mate? What makes it all a bit more eerie is the fact that whatever is sitting up there, screaming in a really strange way, as if the person was in pain. But what do I know? Maybe it's just a hoax. The uploader swears that he thinks to have come across a real witch that night. It was apparently not seen again after this incident. Oh man. Weird. Like the Blair Witch. Bloody Blair Witch, mate. Lanky apparition. This was another <laughs> post in the ghost section of Reddit, uploaded by user Mank Viper. He didn't have any paranormal experiences before this incident, and he stated, I was scrolling through my open apps earlier and noticed the camera was stuck on the last thing it was looking at before I come off it, so I noticed it had my daughter playing. I screenshotted it so that I could crop and keep it as a picture, only to notice something in the doorway. What exactly could he mean? What are we looking at? Oh God! What, I thought, mate, I thought that was a bloody pillar. I thought that was, I thought it was a bloody wall. Look at you with your long ass bloody legs, mate. You're Spider Woman. A long white apparition can be seen here, what the hell? but he couldn't explain it in the slightest. He said the doorway was free, with no other object obstructing it. And if that's the case, what are we looking at here? It appears that this thing is standing towards the wall, and it has no shoes on. What's your explanation? Pretty creepy what? in my book. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, was that it? Was that it? The next clip oh. was recorded by user Mason Divas 3 and he was like, Christ. quite <laughs> startled when he realized that something terrifying was unfolding just outside of his window. As he was close to the end of his night shift, there appeared what looked like to be a tall man standing and walking around outside. There was no apparent reason for that. 
And no, it had never happened before. Let's check that out. It's 5, it's 5 a.m. on a night shift, 10 miles away from my town or city. From any town or city, sorry. It's 5 in the morning, bro. Like... What a weirdo. Huh? Five in the morning. She's been moving back and forth. And just looking at me. Some viewers Rambo suspected it. that it could be a farmer who's simply looking out after his crops. But Mason denied that, saying that nobody ever is out that early on the fields and that it appeared to be looking straight at him. And that was oh mate that would freak you right out would you rambo it and run towards him and say hey what's up mate what are you doing or would you just carry on doing what he's doing just recording him thinking what the hell mate getting paranoia that's weird it could be just somebody like come out back from the bloody piss up still pissed and just go I'm, I'm sure i was in this field somewhere where's my bloody wallet mate or where's my phone what's that a really scary encounter if you ask me is it paranormal related? We don't know. Even if not, what would a person do out there just staring at a window? Uncanny. There's some really weird, messed up people out there, isn't it? Hey? Some really messed up people out there. Look at the state of you, mate. Get a job! Pulled under the bed? The next video was sent to me by Simon, and he forwarded me the website of the Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas. It's a pretty haunted location to say the least. Every week, ghost hunters from all over the world visit to investigate it. The website features the craziest incidents of the week, and in late September, a group of three people conducted a little investigation. What's he doing to her, mate? What's he doing to her? Look! That looks kinky. What are you doing? Degation in one of the bedrooms. At least he got masks on. And this was when something bone chilling happened to one of the group's members. It was recorded by the CCTV camera in the room. Let's see it from the victim firsthand. I am here with a daughter and her father, and here we at Haunted Hill House bring families together. <laughs> hey, Floyd. All right, so tell us what happened. Um, yeah. So I was just asking you questions. We were all asking questions, and G, he actually saw something on the top. So we were looking at his camera because he thought he saw a head or something pop out, and I wasn't even really paying attention. And then like we were asking different questions, and then boom, my whole left. It, I didn't get pulled. It felt like my whole left side of my body like was suctioned to the bottom underneath the bed. Almost. Like gravity disappeared. He what? The floor and I looked at him Why is she so bloody happy about it? She seems so happy about it. In pure terror, and we sprinted. After this terrifying story, one can only imagine the dread this young woman must have felt when she got dragged off the bed. Did she maybe just slip or something? Guess there's only one way to find out. Let's see the recording. Oh, hang on, I've seen this! May, I've seen that! That is... That's messed up! That's messed up! That is proper messed up! Like, like, she's gone! Motherfucker, she's gone! Yeah, mate! That's just fucking mad! Like she can't, she can't act that way. There must have had to been somebody there pulling. Like if it was fake, there had to been somebody pulling her, because she can't move like that. Just look with how much force she gets yeah. pulled off. Almost as if something inhumane must have grabbed her, or if she got tangled up in a machine of some sorts. Yeah. Really creepy. Mate. What do you think happened? Well, if she was pulled up in a, in, a, in a machine, then it must have a quick release of some sort because she got up pretty damn quick and uh, fucking left pretty damn sharpish. And here, certainly a mysterious encounter that can't easily explain if you ask me. Curious. 
Look at the eyeballs! A different group of friends were hanging out at the playground at night. They were having a lot of fun and talked about the good old times when they were kids and loved to spend their afternoon. I love the way this dude talks. They were talking about the good old times. Once in the park. It was until much later that the girl who was recording this night realized that she caught something really creepy on video. Oh mate, in a, in a, in a child's bloody playground? This is gonna be freaky deaky, man. Like, what are you actually looking at? What am I seeing? Oh my fucking god! Look at the state of you, mate! Holy fuck! Look at the eyeballs! Jason has forwarded the following which was uploaded by user galdenga252 and she tells Stop the internet it. that yesterday she stumbled over a strange capture that she took one night when creating a couple of selfies for her profile. Her parents were downstairs at the time and nobody else should have been present. Is he, After hang on, is he not gonna talk anymore about that? Like that's messed up mate. Oh, she would remember that, right? However, the back of her room says otherwise. In closer inspection, there was another person with her, which freaked her out a ton, and she's looking for help on the internet. Let's take a look. Oh my fucking god, mate. Oh my fucking god. Oh fucking god. Look. Look at this. Look. Hang on. Look at, look, uh, look, it doesn't seem, mate, it doesn't seem, I'm looking on OBS, it doesn't seem as bad, this just looks like one of our mates, but over here, what I'm looking at, and maybe it's different for you now, but that looks like a freaky ass motherfucking face right there. Look at you! What are you doing? You've got no fucking hand! You've got no hand! Where's your hand? A woman is sitting right behind the uploader. And people have pointed out that it is quite freaky how her eyes are just two dark holes. But oh we shouldn't God. forget that it could be due to the awful lighting conditions in the room. She also appears to be holding something. Or, if you want to believe other Wait, comments... how is she holding something without her bloody hand? ...might be even missing her left hand. So, what are we looking at here? Just a friend of hers, sitting in the back, that seems creepy due to the camera angle. Or paranormal apparition. Thanks for watching, guys. Look at you. There you go, mate. That was Frostmare TV. Absolutely. Freaky deaky. All right. If you like the video, please leave a little like. And if you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.